The World Games are coming in July of 2022. Sumo, softball, lacrosse, sport climbing, powerlifting, and more. This is the new generation of sports. Tickets are on sale. Buy today at TWG2022.com. Hey, it's Scott Martin with your weather video for the morning of July 29th, 2021. Mainly dry and very hot conditions to end off the work week and into the weekend before a weak cold front brings back elevated rain chances and cooler temperatures for the start of next week. Here's what I have for you in today's video. Skies are mainly clear across the area at 510 this morning, but we do have some reports of patchy fog out there. Temperatures as of the 5 a.m. roundup were in the upper 60s to the upper 70s across the area. Tuscaloosa was the warm spot at 77. Haleyville was the cool spot at 69. Birmingham was sitting at 73. Heat advisories are in effect today for all of central Alabama and for the west and central parts of north Alabama. The advisory for central Alabama has already been extended into Friday. North Alabama's advisory will most likely be extended later this morning as unseasonably hot and humid conditions will again be in place. Heat index values may reach as high as 109 degrees in some locations. Now, diving into the 060 run of the GFS starting off with today valid at 4 p.m. Today will be a very hot and humid day across the area with a good supply of sunshine. Dry air has worked into the mid-levels of the atmosphere, which will keep nearly everyone in central Alabama dry today. Only a slight chance of an isolated shower or two will be possible for locations along and south of a line from Demopolis to Montgomery to Hertzboro. Afternoon highs will be in the mid to upper 90s across the area. Nearly the same story on Friday as much of the area will be dry with plenty of sunshine and very hot temperatures. A few isolated showers may be possible for locations east of I-65 and north of I-20. Highs will be in the upper 90s to right at or just over 100 degrees. On Saturday, moisture will start to move back in to the mid-levels as the cold front will begin to approach the area from the north. Skies will be mostly sunny, but we'll have a chance for a few isolated showers and storms across the area. Highs will be in the mid to upper 90s. Rain chances start to rise on Sunday as the front starts to move into the area and actually stalls out over the northern parts. We can expect a few scattered showers and storms during the afternoon hours with highs reaching the mid-80s to the lower 90s. Showers and thunderstorms become more likely on Monday as the front continues to hang out over the northern parts of the area. Skies will be mostly cloudy and highs will be in the lower 80s to the lower 90s. The front finally starts to move southward on Tuesday and will push much of the shower and thunderstorm activity over the southern half of the area. However, we still can't rule out a few scattered showers and storms over the northern half. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. Wednesday looks like we return to more of the typical summertime weather we expect to see in central Alabama. Mostly sunny with a slight chance of a few isolated to scattered afternoon showers and storms. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. Now taking a look at the tropics, all is quiet across the Atlantic Basin and tropical cyclone formation is not expected within the next five days. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. I'll have your next video out before 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless.